All right, so I was working with a client a little while ago and we were shooting a little figurine in quite tight. And um, one of the things we ran into was that in order to get decent, um, a, a decent size of the image on the frame, you had to be in quite tight. But of course, the problem with that is that you have a lot of fall off, especially if you're shooting macro. And when you add to that the fact that if you want to stop down to try and achieve a lot of depth of field, what can happen is you end up with a bunch of diffraction and you also deal with a situation where um, you just can't hold focus front to back. So what I had to do is I had to bone up on my focus stacking. And I know that there's a bunch of focus stacking software, but in fact you can do it in Photoshop and Lightroom. And it's actually really straightforward. So I'm just going to walk you through how we do this. What I've got is I've got my grandfather's Leica 3F. And I have a series of 13 images that I shot with an Nikon D810 and the 105 macro lens, starting with the front corner, which is the, it's the advanced knob, and then working my way across the front of the camera and the front of the lens, making sure I had a photograph of at least, uh, you know, mostly in focus of all of them. And uh, so this is how you stack them in Photoshop. So first thing I'm going to do, just because I'm going to keep this simple, I'm going to click on Auto for um, uh, to get the auto exposure. It looks like a black and white photo, but in fact it is color. Um, and then I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to synchronize the settings across all the files. They're all shot at exactly the same aperture and shutter speed on a tripod. So now that we've got all 13 photos auto exposured, we go to photo, we go to, um, where do we go? We go down to uh, edit in, and then you have here open as layers in Photoshop. We click on that opens Photoshop and builds a document with 13 layers stacking each of the images. I don't know if you can see, but uh, as they come in, uh, you can see how the focus is changing across the front of the camera. And uh, just give us a second to bring all 13, 36 megapixel files in. 1.41 gigabytes, 1.62 gigabytes. 1.82, 2.02 gigabytes. It's a big file, but um, we can flatten it once we're done. So, um, so there we go. Oh, no, hang on, there's more. I'll just wait for a second. Okay, that's it. So we've got 13, uh, 13 layers. We need to go and select all the layers. Shift click, select them all. We go to layer. We go. Oops, we go to. Uh, where is it here? It is here under edit. Go to Auto Align Layers, and we want to have the projection to be auto. Vignette removal and geometric distortion are unclicked in this situation. Hit OK. And we let it churn through the 13 files. And what it's doing is it's basically, what happens is when you change the focus on a lens, most lenses, the 105 macro from Nikon as well as a number of other lenses, um, they breathe a little bit. So, so the image size actually changes slightly depending on where the focus is. So what Photoshop is doing is it's actually aligning the subject matter so that it's all exactly the same. So making photos a little tiny bit bigger or smaller or rotating them just the tiniest little bit to get them all uh, to line up perfectly. And then we go back up to edit and then we go down to auto blend layers and we have stack images connected, seamless tones and colors, pardon me, checked. Uh, content aware fill transparent areas not checked. So stack images, seamless tones and colors, click OK. And lo and behold, it builds you a focus stacked image. It does take a bit of horsepower to get this to work, especially when you're using high-res files, but, or high-res images, but uh, especially if you've got 13 of them going. But, um, and that's it, just like that. So I'm just gonna zoom in here 100%. Um, and we've got nice and sharp on the front here, and the whole thing is nice and sharp front to back. And actually, nice fall off in the background, too. So um, if we just back out a little tiny bit, I'm just going to, um, if we go to image and we go to, um, if we just undo the auto blend layers, that's where it was to begin with. And that's where it is now. And it's that simple. And then what you can do is you can flatten your file and you can save it out, and you've stacked your photos just like that. And I will say that, you know, certainly the more photos you have, the better your focus stack is. And Photoshop is smart enough to know um, 
you know, it just takes what it can out of each of the images, and so you don't have to worry about whether or not you've got, uh, you know, too many of this and you know too many of that. It'll, it'll, it knows, and it'll just ignore files that, that it doesn't need. Um, the only other issue is that you can run into is, of course, is if you do not have enough in focus uh, across the plane of whatever it is you're trying to focus, what can happen is, of course, you can have out-of-focus areas as Photoshop tries to, to, to manage the, the different spots. But in this case, I um, 13 photos across the front. I think there were eight or 10 across the front, and then there were two or three on the lens here in the front as well to make sure that was in focus. And um, I shot at f8, so using the best, the highest quality that the lens could possibly give me, and um, holding focus front to back. So, uh, so that's a quick little tutorial on how you uh, focus stack in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.